And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Mexa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here overlooking the San Diego landings in Point Loma, and we have a great guest today. You ready to travel? Yeah. I am. I know everybody is. And we have the travel expert, the insurance expert, Bob Dawson, is here. We're going to be talking some travel insurance and a lot of fishing, too. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plan along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat, Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas and that's for the entire year that's right one year what a bargain plus use the special code to save twenty dollars on a new fishdope.com membership check it out today fishdope.com catch more fish burn less fuel your san diego county ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs looking for a truck to handle both work and play the legendary f-150 has you covered with its military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame and smart technology like the available pro trailer backup assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure the ford ranger is standing by so grab your gear and let's go this adventure ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance is an suv more your speed no problem your san diego county ford dealers have those too the 2020 ford explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third row power fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin panel moonroof to let the outdoors in visit buyfordnow.com to learn more or visit your nearest san diego county ford dealer today they'll be glad to hook you up There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there's only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. The Kona Kai Resort Spa Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and award-winning spa, most of which is included for marina tenants. Check ResortKonaKai.com for more information. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Do we have the right guy and the right timing? Everybody's so yeah. ready to Are charge you? up to go. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great, well timed yeah. guest, man. Yeah. Fun I know, today. I know you're going on your first trip to here soon, uh, next we, weekend. Even a couple days, yeah, yeah. Going down to Palmas and down to uh, Palmas de Cortez. Yep. Neil and Laney are getting married and Whoa. at Palmas de Cortez. So Congratulations, we're gonna be, Neil. Yeah. Yeah. We're pumped. It's going to be a really fun time. Bunch of buds and a great time. And, I can't wait to get to Palmas. Oh, man. <laughs> I have a serious need for a swim-up bar and a famous Palmas de Cortez margarita. Oh, right yeah, about yeah. Hector's waiting for exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wait a minute. Now, didn't you say that you're having a day at the dock sale at Fisherman's Landing Tackle next weekend? I don't know whether to curse Neil or to give him a, uh, the biggest high five. Yeah, but yeah. yes, I will will not. But you are right. Yeah, the shop, it's going to be a big they're, deal. They're yeah. going to go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're, we're doing Doug it. Doug will be there and the gang will be there. Day at the docks, as we all know, is supposed to be this weekend coming up. And unfortunately, they decided to cancel the event for another year. But we said there's no way we're not going to have a day at the dock celebration. So at the docks, we're going to do it too. Just like our 
Fred Hall sale. Yeah, we're going to do a big mega blowout at the shop. Wow, and, same kind of deal. Uh, vir- virtually the same. Virtually the same thing that we did before, which is you know rods and reels and all those kinds of things on discount. There will be a few things that we just can't get, and you know that's just the nature of the of the tackle biz right now. And so those few things w- won't be on sale, but. Most everything a guy would want for saltwater fishing, again, rods, reels, spectra, hooks, fluorocarbon, all that will be on a pretty mega, mega discount. Now, for the I weekend. saw you doing all a lot of rigging yesterday on yummy <laughs> flyers <laughs> yeah, right. and, and, and rigs for that. Are that kind of all stuff going to be yeah, on sale, ab- too? Ab- absolutely. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, a big, it's a big sale. I mean, wow. you know, a lot of buy two, get one freeze. Buy three, get one freeze. You know, 10, what about 15, cigar discounts? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What yeah, is d- it? D- definitely on it. I don't... Um, don't know yet? I don't. I, I, I but don't. it's going to be... A great deal. Yeah, I, I, I you ready? You hear that, Bob? I'm better load more. up. Better more, yeah. buy more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to say the wrong thing, but I know that during our Fred Hall sale, it was buy two get one free, and I would suspect it's going to be something, if not the same, very similar, similar. to. You know, I mean, it's not a, it's not a. Oh, maybe we'll take five percent off. It's a real. This is a real deal discount and a big sale, and we're expecting it to be, you know, as successful as the last one. It's going to be a really big one. And when's the sale start? Uh, Saturday and Sunday morning, and it starts when our doors open, which depends. Saturday and Sunday morning only. Yeah, uh, Saturday and Sunday only, and. Uh, you know the the that sounds next weekend correct yep yep not this weekend not but, today but the yeah next weekend coming up and you know depending on when the half day boat or the three quarter day boat goes that's when the sale will start so okay. you know sometime you expect the doors to open between five and six a.m. All right very good yeah. well Bob I think what we need is more tackle right yeah we definitely need yeah, more tackle yeah. you can't have enough yeah now Bob is not only not only a travel insurance expert but he is also an avid angler and hunter and i know you spend a lot of time on the rail at the royals on the royal star oh love that boat love yeah. the crew uh you know most of the people i fish with i've fished with before it's just a great experience as any long range boat is i mean that's the best deal in the world when you think you're paying 450 to 500 bucks a day and Literally everything's included, yeah. Yeah. including a chef, including yeah. an air-conditioned stateroom, including an ocean view for every <laughs> meal. I mean, how do you beat that? Oh, yeah, it's totally. it's and, crazy. and your recreation, too. Yeah. Which is fishing. Love it. Yeah. And so what's your favorite trip? What's a, give us an idea of the best trip you ever went on, on, on the long range trip boat. <laughs> Actually, it was the very first one in 92, a 16 day trip. Wow. Yeah. And it was my son and I, and I had talked to Bill Poole. I said, Hey, I want to take my son on a five day trip. And he goes, well, he says, okay. He says, uh, he says, you want to rent some tackle? I go, well, I'd like to buy some. Well, it didn't take long to spend about 5,000 bucks, you know? <laughs> so anyway, we ended up buying it. And then I would say about two weeks before that trip, he says, hey, we're coming back from Clippert, and I want you to come down to the landing and see what we caught. I go down there, and I'm looking at all these tuna and wahoo, and I'm like, you got to be, I want to go on one of these trips. He <laughs> says, okay, we'll cancel your five-day, and two weeks later, we got a 16-day, and I go, wow. put us on that, no and way. that was great. Wow. It was pretty unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, we, we all limited on wahoo. We, we were catching, uh, I think my son got a 198 tuna on that Ooh. trip, but we caught a lot of tuna between one and 150. Nice. You know, and by the time we got back, we had so much fish, we're calling everybody we know. Because we had no idea what we had. Yeah. You know? And that was before the days of processors, too, right? It was all, it was either oh. canning or take it home, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So no, processing is made oh my gosh. so much yeah, better. Fisherman's processing has changed our lives. Yes. <laughs> yes. Love that place. Yeah, that is, is a great place. So, how did you get into the travel insurance business? Mostly because we insure the vessels, most of the long range vessels. And uh, a lot of the owners said, look, you know, we've got clients that we really feel bad if they have to cancel their trip, but we can't always resell that trip, and we end up losing money. Uh So we want to treat this more like a cruise ship does. You know, we're running a business here, and it costs us just as much money to run that boat with 24 people as it does 23 people. Right. And and we really need to try to fill those trips. And, and we those are the to. profit, right? The last couple spots. Oh, the, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, when you think about the value in a long-range trip, that's oh. got to be the best on the planet. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I've got a guy right now that's in Tanzania, Africa, paying 2000 a day to go hunting. Wow. wow no so kidding. that's kind of expensive. So, yeah. you know, and every year we'll sell a few policies that are $150,000 for one trip. Wow. Because that's the max we can write with most all the companies. We have 122 plans with six different carriers. They're all major carriers. They're all admitted carriers, meaning that, you know, everything's covered. Even if the carrier went out of business, 
the California Insurance Guarantee Association backs up any claims. Yeah. So that that's a big advantage to having an admitted carrier. But there's so many really great carriers out there. I mean, we have HTH Worldwide. We got Geo Blue. We got MedJet Assist. We got Global Rescue. We got Allianz. We've got Travel Guard. So, you know, and we guarantee the lowest prices on all the plans. But most people are like, well, what the hell does a plan cost? Yeah. Well, usually it's between 4 and about 10% of the trip cost, depending on your age. And uh, I would say, let's say, let's take a person that's like 50 years old, going on a long-range trip. It's 3000 bucks, probably looking at $150 if you get the most popular plan. Uh, and, and it also depends on the company, and it depends on... There's so many things to take into consideration on purchasing trip insurance. This is not like, oh, I'm going to buy trip insurance. It's going to cover everything in the world that ever happens sure. on that trip. That doesn't work that way. Yeah. Yeah. There's always exclusions on policies. Most of them are fairly standard. Like they, they won't cover paragliding, hang, uh, parachuting, uh, diving under 65 feet, even with a master diver. There's, over 65 feet. Or over 65 feet, yeah, yeah. Uh, even with a master diver. So there's some exclusions that are going to be on there. But the most common reasons for canceling a trip, there uh, is an illness or an accident or a death in the family and you can't go. Because everybody I know that books a trip, they like cannot wait to go. Sure. Yeah. And there's no way they're canceling that trip. Yeah. So what's the difference between, let's say, I'm going on uh, a 10-day tri a, a trip on the Royal Star, and I buy a policy for that trip. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between buying that policy and buying the policy which I just purchased, which is the annual policy? Yeah, what's big the difference. difference? Well, okay. there's actually, here's, here's the way it works. So if you buy a single trip plan, right. so let's say that, uh, that Pete is uh, 60 years old. And then he's going to pay about maybe 6 or 7% for the he used to be cost six. of that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I used to be, too. <laughs> but so anyway, so it only covers that one specific trip. But I usually recommend to people, if you're traveling more than once a year, more than 100 miles from home, now that's considered a trip by most companies, not all. You know, there, we do have companies that say a trip is 160 miles from home. So... The main difference is on an annual plan, you can make a trip a day for 365 days of almost any kind and expect to be insured if you have to cancel that trip up to the benefit that you have on your policy on the trip cancellation. So to give an idea, uh, let's say an average price for a 3,000 trip cancellation plan is $275 for one year. Includes your medevac, your medical, your baggage loss, you rent a car on vacation, they'll cover up to 45000 uh, damage or theft to that car with a zero deductible. Uh, th th those are great plans, but you can get them all the way up to ten thousand dollars on a on a one year basis. But there's seven hundred eighty five dollars for the ten thousand plans. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, you know you're going to get seven thousand more in trip cancellation. But you know most of the people we deal with on long range trips, we're usually talking, you know, five grand or less. Mm -hmm. uh, on, and on that a would trip be cost. the the, the five thousand dollar plan. Yeah, if you got a, the five thousand annual is a great plan. Most of the trips I make are five thousand or less, so I buy the same plan that you have. The uh -huh. five five thousand annual plan. It's five hundred bucks a year. It does have a lot higher benefits than the three thousand plan does from mm -hmm. a medevac standpoint. So again, is it be, so? It's better to buy the annual plan than to buy individual trip insurance. Oh, if as you're long making, as, as long as your trips are more than a hundred miles from home. Yeah, yeah, and that's true whether home. it's a single trip plan or an annual plan. So now. Why would you buy trip insurance if you were going less than 100 miles, though? Well, you probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you're not going to be covered. It's yeah. not considered a trip. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what about, okay, I go on Alaska Airlines and I buy a ticket to Cabo or somewhere, and I see, oh, Allianz is selling a policy to cover this trip. How does that differ than what you're selling? Well, you know, those are usually through like a, uh, travel place. You know, I know AAA offers Allianz plans. I don't know that right. I don't think they do. They may offer annual plans. I'm not sure. They used to be only for insurance brokers and agents, but that could have changed. But uh -huh. but the main thing is, if you buy anything from us, we're going to guarantee the lowest prices. Yeah. So and and we're gonna we're gonna also going to get you the right plan. So if you happen to live in San Diego and you go, well, you know, I do a lot of hunting or fishing in Mexico, but it's 
it's under 100 miles from home, then I would go, well, we've got a company that covers you as soon as you cross the border. Right. Okay. So we're going to go that route because anything else you buy is probably going to exclude coverage because you're not 100 miles away f- from home or 160 miles away from home. I got you. So if I take a day trip or an overnight trip down to Rosarito, mm-hmm. which is 50 miles away, sure. mm-hmm. I'm not covered. No. Yeah. No. So if I, but I, if I go beyond Ensenada, I, it's 100 miles, I'm covered. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I that's, see. That's how they work it. And you know, the most the thing is, like most people are, uh, and I, I worry about that too. You know, if I have to give up five thousand dollars on a trip because of either an illness or an accident, or maybe a family member ends up in the hospital, or or I tear my rotator cuff and now I can't cast my rod, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm going to want my money back. Five grand's a lot of money. You're right. You know, but it's uh, the, the most the most expensive part of most of this trip reimbursement. It runs into the medevac. The average medevac is twenty five thousand um, bucks, and that's within the United States. That's average. Now it could be a little bit higher from some of the numbers I looked at, but you'd be overseas, and it could be a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. But most plans will come with a hundred thousand in medevac, up to half a million. Wow, jeez. Yeah, wow. so it, it's good to have. I, I've seen some pretty expensive ones. We haven't really had any real expensive. I'm, well, not by real expensive. One hundred thirty one thousand is the biggest one we've paid out of our office for the medevac. Medevac portion, but uh, if you're overseas, you know that could turn into a lot. You mm-hmm. know, I dealt with a client last year that they wanted two hundred seventy-five thousand to fly his wife's body back to the U.S. from China. Wow! Yeah, because they have totally different rules. Once you're out of this country, you're <laughs> it's not it, nothing close to the same as the kind of care we get here. And people think they're going to get that. Well, they're not. But they did have some very good doctors. They just have different rules in their country on their religions. It's like, no, uh, she may have a do not resuscitate in her will uh, because she's brain dead from this fall that she made on the cruise ship. But yeah. we can't do that in our right. country. Yeah. So in any event, my friend calls me and says, hey, look, there's a friend of mine that went, went through this. They did not have travel insurance. And I said, well, uh, do this. Tell them to take the, the body back to the cruise ship. And when you get in international waters, then they can probably meet her standards of her will, which mm-hmm. said do not resuscitate because they're not going to have somebody that's going to be a vegetable for the rest of their life. Right. But, yeah, so you deal with a lot of different a lot of, things. That's, yeah, that's, that's an Jeez. odd one. Yeah. yeah very wow. odd. Yeah. Very yeah. odd. That's heavy duty. So at, 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 at Dawson Insurance Services, that's kind of you actually interact with your customers on, on when they have a claim. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We, we have to because uh, – you know, usually what I want it's to not, do... You're not just alone with the insurance that's company. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a big deal. I think maybe yeah. a bigger deal than you take it for. Yeah. yeah you, when something goes... When something... God forbid if something does go wrong, you talk to Bob. You right. talk to one of Bob's people. I mean, it's... Yeah. Because the first thing the insurance company is going to say is no. <laughs> right? I mean, that's... The, it's like, no, you're not covered. Right? <laughs> right. Well, there are, there's always exclusions, but I think the main thing is, is, you know, people have a misconception on travel insurance that... Some people think it doesn't cover very much, and some people think it covers everything. Yeah. Well, it's probably an in-between there. Right. But uh, the, the main reason for these cancellations, again, are illness, injury, things like that, uh, where people can't go on the trip. And it might not even be f- them. It yeah. could be a family member. Okay. So, you know, it's, uh, th- there's one advantage to buying a policy within the first 14 days. Now, it's within the first 14 days of your trip deposit with... Most carriers, I do have one carrier that goes up to 21 days, where they'll give you free pre-existing medical condition coverage. So that's anything you've seen a doctor for. And I'll just give you an example. Some companies have a look-back period of 90 days of saying, okay, in the last 90 days, have you changed the medication or seen a doctor? Because now whatever you've seen them for is a pre-existing medical condition, and we're going to exclude it unless you purchase the insurance within that first 14 days. And then if you have to cancel for that reason, we're going to cover it. But it also extends to family members. I mean, you could have a brother, a sister, a mother, so a you, father. You so, you, so you purchase the, the trip with, purchase the insurance within 14 days of making the first deposit on the trip. Right. What if you have an annual policy? Well, the way those work is that uh, it works the same way. You have to purchase it within the first 14 days of your trip deposit, or you have to renew it within seven days of its expiration date the following year. And it covers everything. So, in other words, I just renewed my policy. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a heart condition. Mm-hmm. Um, I book a trip next week, I, 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 and I'm, I'm covered. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because it covers all the trips I do for that whole year. 
Exactly. And, I, you I were, and you were booked well before, you, you before know, the, yeah, your policy was renewed well before you made the deposit for your deposit. trip next week. Yeah, and you can still buy the travel insurance after the 14th today. It's just that you're not going to get the free pre-existing medical the, condition. Which is important for a lot of people like myself, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It, it can be a very important benefit. Yeah. But, it, you know, it's not that everybody has a pre-existing medical condition. Yeah. They can still purchase the insurance to be covered for the 28 reasons that it pays 100% of your money back. Right. Uh, but if there is a pre-existing medical condition, it's kind of nice to be able to get your money back because it might not be you that has it. it could be your mother or father that just had a stent put in, and now they got to go back in the hospital at the time you want to go fishing. Ah. That's the thing that I thought was the most yeah. beneficial of it is, you know, maybe you're relatively healthy and you don't have any plans on it, but if... If there's any, you know, if there's any reason that qualifies, which sure seems like a lot of them, like you said, a family of this or that, the guy you were going on the trip with, you know, he he breaks his leg, whatever, you're still covered. Yeah, because even a traveling companion has to cancel. We're going to refund your money. Wow. So there, there's a lot of there's a lot, a lot. You got to know a lot of stuff, Bob. <laughs> it's confusing. Yeah, yeah, it is confusing. Well, as you can hear, I have a great show lined up for today. Bob also uh, writes policies on a lot of the. The boats and the fleet, too. So if you're uh, an operator and uh, you want to talk about insurance uh, for your boat, Bob can cover that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, it's going to be a great show. And again, just like you said, man, so much information here and so much to talk about. So much great fishing stuff going on. It's going to be a great show. And we want to have you join us. If you want to be a part of Let's Talk Hookup this morning, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090. That's how you reach us on Let's Talk Hookup this morning. Or... Shoot us a text. The Let's Talk Hookup app is the best way to do it. It's free download on your Android or iPhone device. Just fire it up and look for the text the show option and fires the text. We've already got a couple of great ones coming through. Uh, or, again, give us a call, 213-432-1090. Not only are you going to get a chance to talk to Bob, and our travel insurance expert, but we're also giving away a killer prize today. Somebody at the end of the show today is going to get to go fishing on a full-day trip on board the San Diego out of C4 Sport Fishing and awesome opportunity. Matt Brawla and uh, Captain Ryan Boston have been just having a great time and already getting in on that great early season yellowtail and somebody's going to get to go experience that on a full day trip on board the San Diego. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. It's a fact of life in Southern California. Hard water. And if you have a pool, your towel shows it. Here comes San Diego Pool Towel Cleaning to the rescue. With their specialized equipment, SD Pool Towel Cleaning can safely remove the stubborn calcium deposits most pool owners struggle with. SD Pool Towel Cleaning can make your tile look bright and clean, almost like new again. High-pressure pool maintenance cleaning can damage grout, stone, and dislodge tiles. San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning uses a low-pressure media blasting technique to protect your pool surface from damage and yield fantastic results. So stop making excuses for your stained tiles on your pool. Make them look like new again with San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Check their website at sdpooltilecleaning.com and let their professional staff rejuvenate your pool tile. When it comes to professional swimming pool tile cleaning service, there's only one name you can trust, San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Check sdpooltilecleaning.com. Henry David Thoreau said, Many men go fishing all their lives without knowing that it's not the fish they are after. Let me tell you, it's been one wild year, but one thing that still rings true is how nice it is to get out on the water. And at Fast Lane Kayaking, we have the tools to do it. Catch fish and social distance on the super stable and fully loaded fishing machine, the Hobie Pro Angler, now available with the Mirage Drive 360. Or explore our beautiful coastlines, bays, and lakes in comfort on a Hobie Compass or Passport. Or load up the car and hit the road with the inflatable Hobie I-11S and kayak the stunning lakes in eastern Sierra or wherever you can dream up. The Fast Lane team cannot begin to tell you how much we appreciate your business over the last 41 years. We are family owned and operated and always have been. And we're here to help you get on the water and spread the stoke. Check out our website at fastlanekayaking.com or stop by the shop in Dana Landing Marina 
right on the water in Mission Bay. Let's get out and make some memories. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half day and full day trips daily. Perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Give your boat the love it deserves and install a custom sea deck kit from Blue Seas Fabrication. Blue Seas is the West Coast's only certified sea deck fabricator and installer. Sea deck upgrades the look and feel of any boat, old or new. Sea deck non-skid decking adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. But the experts from Blue Seas Fabrication custom fit your deck, bridge, and interior with stylish, durable, stain-resistant, and easy-to-clean sea deck. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience. Gotta love California in the summer. Just remember, COVID is still with us. So if you're going to the water, plan ahead. Follow local public health guidelines and make sure everyone wears a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, we're having a great time here this morning. Phones are already packed up at 213-432-1090. And although we've received a bunch, there's never a time limit on sending those texts. So shoot us a text at that Let's Talk Hook Up app, text the show option, and we'll get them going. All right, let's go ahead and jump in the phones. You got it, man. Well, again, packed solid. We're going to start it off with Don. Don's calling us from Woodland Hills this morning. Don, good morning. Thanks for getting us started here on Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning. Uh, Bob, it's always a pleasure listening to you speak about travel insurance. Um, Thank you. My question for you is this. Um, I've got a couple of, uh, you know, San Diego fishing trips and here recently, and I'm outside that 14 or 21 day period, unfortunately. But I've got some family plans to go to Utah to Zion and Bryce, and then in the fall, we're going to go to Hawaii. What would be the best option for me to, as far as picking up travel insurance? I'm kind of thinking the, the annual plan, but I'd like your guidance. Definitely the annual plan. It sounds like you're making four or five trips during the year. And yep. uh, I think the value for the dollar, you know, depending on the cost of your trips, but let's say they're 5000 or less, it's 500 bucks a year. You get increased limits on Medivac, like a quarter million instead of the 100000 on a 3000 plan. However, my suggestion is, is don't buy the travel insurance for any more than your most expensive trip, because if you don't use it, it's going to roll over to the next trip, the next trip, the next trip, and so on. So what about pre-existing conditions if he buys an annual policy? Well, anything you put a deposit on from the time the policy is into effect is automatically covered for pre-existing medical okay, conditions. Okay, so even though you put a deposit on it last year... It no coverage. You have no cover. Right. But not for pre-existing. You'll have cover okay. for the other 28 reasons. Oh, okay. But not for so, the pre-existing portion. So if he already deposited on these trips and he buys a policy today, if he has a pre-existing condition, it wouldn't be covered. Right. But, okay. you know, probably 90% of the people don't, maybe more. Yeah. You know, but a so, lot of other things can happen. Yeah. So, but but what he would be covered for is if, you know, he t- broke breaks a leg, somebody in his party hurt gets hurt, um, cancellation. Yeah, it's all 100% trip cancellation. And then your medical's still going to be covered. Your medevac's going to be covered. Your If you rent a car somewhere on vacation, that's going to be covered for the physical loss and damage of it. Uh, there's still a ton so, of coverages. So, so say that again. So if you rent a car, you're co- you have comprehensive coverage beyond your own insurance? You do. You'll have 45000 in coverage for uh, a collision or if the or a theft of the vehicle okay. they, they'll pay the first 45000 the vehicle itself the vehicle itself it doesn't yeah. cover liability yeah. your insurance will typically extend to liability but your it depends on insurance. yeah it depends you know we write a lot of commercial policies we write a lot of personal lines policies and they vary in in what they'll cover so right. if you had a commercial policy you better have the right symbol on it to make sure that if you go rent a car somewhere, your liability extends over to it. Okay. Because if you don't have symbol one, seven, and eight, you're probably not going to have that coverage because it doesn't cover hired and non-owned autos. Uh huh. So yeah, a lot of things to complicated. Consider. Yeah. They put a lot of small print in their policies, right? All of them. <laughs> you mentioned covering your traveling companion. Say you know you go down with your wife and uh, whatever whatever something happens that uh, the trip has to cancel. Um, 
if she had a pre-existing condition, are you still covered or not? You know, in that in that case of Don, the deposit's already down, but he buys the yearly plan. If someone else's pre-existing condition causes you to not be able to make the trip, are you covered because it's your traveling companion that can't go, or is a no? If your traveling companion has a pre-existing medical mm-hmm. condition, they're going to be excluded just like you are because you didn't purchase the insurance within the first fourteen days or twenty-one days, depending on which company we're using. So, uh, but a pre-existing condition, you know, like I said, most people don't have one. See, and it's defined differently by different companies. Some companies have a six-month look-back period on pre-existing sure. conditions. That's a long time. I mean, but some only have a 90-day, and 90 days isn't, isn't that long. In other words, you could have a medical condition that you've been taking medications for for years, and you haven't seen the doctor in the last 90 days for it, and you haven't uh, Got it. changed your medications, it's not a pre-existing sure, condition. It's not a pre-existing. I feel like we're getting hung up on that thing, and it just sounds like, from what you're describing, that it's it's very rare that the pre-existing condition is the thing that, that, that gets most of your travelers. No, it's mo- mostly an accident or an illness. Got it. Now, what? okay, what if Don is going to Bryce Canyon, and uh, excuse me, Don, and uh, he or his companion fall and break a leg or break an arm and they need evac they're way back in the back country and they need uh, a helicopter to come pick them well, up that doesn't happen no that, that, doesn't, happen. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen that never anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that would that would be covered that would be covered yeah it's not going to automatically extend over to a family member that doesn't have the insurance though. it's not they have to have the insurance coverage yeah, yeah. for the evac yeah for a medevac or the medical coverage or the baggage yeah. loss or the car rental coverage, those things, they have to have their own insurance policy for. Gotcha. Got it. All right. Very good. Cool. All right, Don. Hey, hope that helps you out. Thanks Thanks good for luck, the buddy. call this morning. Appreciate that very much. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go down to Rancho Leonero and uh, find out. Let's. Wouldn't we not all like to be at Rancho Leonero? <laughs> find out what's going on in paradise right now. John Ireland's on the line. Buenos dias, John. Hey, John. Good morning, Pedro, Rick, Bob. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, loud yeah. and clear, buddy. These Mexican lines, you never know. Um, yeah, it's been a kind of a transitional week this week, you guys. Uh, water temp last week was 70 degrees, and uh, this week, the end of this week, is 75 to 77. Ooh. <clears throat> so things are kind of changing. Um, the yellowtail bite was was real good last week. It's kind of petering out this week, not, not as good as it was. And that's, I'm sure, due to the warming water. Um, they're, uh, they're hitting the bottom pretty good and they're catching a lot of, uh, they're catching, you know, two or three per day. Nice yellowtail, you know, in the, in the 10 to 30 pound range. And, uh, but they're picking up a lot of, uh, uh, uh amberjack and for some reason, golden grouper, huh? Really? I just thought they were a really rare fish. <laughs> yeah. And the boats are, each boat's coming in with three or four nice, nice grouper, golden grouper, uh, in the five to 10 pound range. Um, lots of skipjack as well. A lot of striped marlin too, uh, and, and with absolutely no pressure. Nobody's shown any interest in them at all. But uh, they're around in numbers. Quite a few stripers. You know, with this warming water and all that, it's like I say this is a transitional week. I think uh, I think we're going to see more dorado and and yellowfin and and our normal species come uh, towards the end of April here. It's definitely switching around. I, I've never seen the water temp. Uh, jump like that five seven degrees in one week it's a really a dramatic change wow so, yeah, we'll it is. i know there was a lot of green water around at your area and la paz and stuff is that starting to go away yeah well it's clear in front i'm i'm not sure about la paz and all that but uh gosh it's been it, it, what, what's happening is it's real nice flat mornings and then the wind kicks up about 12 12 30 and kind of rusts it up but it's been, boy, it's been clear as gin, clear in front. The, the reef in front is just, you can, just jumping out at you. Water's real clear down here. So, anyway, sounds I'm pretty good. Right? Yeah, I can handle that, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, sounds great. And I know things are booking up very, very quickly, John. And if somebody uh, wants to book a trip to Rancho Leonero, how do we get a hold of you? Thanks, Pete. It is. It's looking like a really good year, thankfully, especially after last year. Uh, 800-646-2252 or RanchoLandNarrow.com. All right. Sounds awesome, great, John. John. Appreciate that very much. Uh, call Pamela and uh, get your trip book because it's it's not going to last. Yeah, no doubt. With that kind of uh, beauty and stuff, get in there. All right, John. Talk to you next Sunday. Okay, gentlemen. Nice talking to you. See you, John. 
All right. All right. Well, the phones are packed up. I know everybody's excited to get rolling, as are the texts. And we had a great text come through um, regarding insurance. And this is from our buddy Mark in La Quinta. It said, how much medical evacuation insurance do you recommend me purchase for my trip to Cedros Island? Mark's doing one of the fly-in style trips where you stay uh, stay on the island. And uh, what do you think about insurance for that one? Yeah, we insure quite a few trips to Cedros uh, that that people make. And, you know, being that the... uh, policies if if you bought let's say one of the most popular plans like a classic plan it's it's going to come with a half a million in medevac but if you had an annual plan even the least expensive the one that covers 3000 in trip cancellation a year still comes with 100000 yeah in medevac and being that you know we're talking about cedros and not China, right? Yeah, you know, we're not talking that much money for a medevac. You, you can feel that it's going to start at twenty five thousand, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just costs a lot of money to fire up a, a medical jet. And when you're coming back on a medical jet, you're generally going to have paramedics or a nurse or somebody sure. right. uh, that's going to be aboard. So it's not a cheap thing to start up and get you back back to uh, the United States. Right, but. Right. An annual policy would cover it, or an individual policy. Annual yeah. pol- the, the basic annual policy is. Two sixty five, two seventy five, two seventy five for three thousand in trip cancellation for a year, and you'll have that hundred thousand in medevac, medevac, uh, the twenty five thousand in medical, the baggage loss, the car rental insurance, and covers all, all your trips, every trip you make for a year. That's so yeah, cool. I mean, it's just crazy to me that for two hundred seventy five dollars you can yeah. cover every trip you go on for the year. Yeah, that's so inexpensive. Yeah, it's a, definitely a value for the dollar for yeah. sure. And and an inv- if he was buying, if he doesn't travel a lot, he's buying one individual trip. How much would yeah. How much would that cost? Well, let's say that the person is, uh, let's say, let's 50 say for years a twenty twenty five hundred dollar uh, of coverage. Okay, twenty five hundred. Uh, you're fifty years old. Probably about five percent of that trip cost. Okay. You know, and it, it's less if you're like in your twenties. It's probably only going to be four percent of the trip cost. Okay. And uh, and if you start getting older in your sixties and seventies, you're always better off to buy an annual plan annual in policy. almost every case. Okay. Because man, it gets. Crazy! It would it would cost me more to insure a one day trip than I could buy one trip for the whole year. Wow! No kidding. Yeah, right. yeah. And, was... and 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 it doesn't matter how old you are on an annual policy. No. It 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 it's the same for somebody that's twenty or seventy. Yeah, twenty or a hundred. Okay. <laughs> there again, that's the reason you go with somebody like Bob and not just you know tapping keys on your keyboard because he's going to be able to say, hey man, this is a much better value for your dollar. Right. Let's go this route instead of going that way. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to be able to figure it out like me. I can guarantee you. Yeah. You know, unless <laughs> you're, you're doing an insurance it for a while. broker and sure. been doing it for forty four years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I dig All it. Right. Well, well, great text for sure. Yeah. How about we jump back into the phones and talk to Dave? Dave's calling us from Anza. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Let's <laughs> Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, everybody. What a wealth of knowledge listening to you there, Bob. Say, um, my wife and I, we are big-time RV travelers. We've um, we've RV'd up to Alaska and back twice. We've done coast-to-coast. Coast. We've really covered the American West. We spend a lot of time on the road. Now, we have both um, AAA and Good Sam, which covers us. If we have a vehicle breakdown, that'll tow the vehicle. But um, is there some kind of medical travel insurance that might be advantageous to RV travelers like us? And what I'm particularly interested in is if we're on the road somewhere and I have a medical emergency, is there something that will take care of my wife and get her to where she needs to go so she's not tra- she's not stranded out in the middle of nowhere? Well, in, you know, in your case, I would suggest an annual plan. You're, you're probably retired if you're traveling this much. And, uh, yes. You know, the older you get, the more expensive it gets. So, uh, yeah, an annual plan, even the one for 275 bucks for an entire year, would, would provide very adequate coverage in case you were in an accident, uh, you know, or some, something happened, you had a heart attack, a stroke, uh, broke your leg, whatever it might be. Uh, the nice thing about having the medical insurance is that uh, you're going to have some medical coverage with it. So let's say it's only 25000 but that can satisfy the deductible on most people's medical plans. Even if they have a bronze plan, which is about a 6500 deductible, uh, this plan's going to pay from first dollar up to the 25000 on the medical. So there's definitely some big advantages to having a, a, a trip insurance policy. And, you know, the older you get, like you get up into your 65, now you're on Medicare, and you do worldwide traveling well that usually limits your medical coverage to 50 grand so what we want to do is uh 
be able to supplement that with an annual plan with either another 25000 or $50,000 in uh, medical insurance coverage. So now what about his wife? Like he says, what if he has to be medically evac out of the area and his wife is stuck with the RV and doesn't know how to drive it? Is there any coverage for that or would she have to have her own policy? Well, she'd have to have her own policy, but I'm not seeing where we're going to... Uh, cover her for hopefully she knows how to drive it i mean if something happens to him how's she going to move it anywhere but uh let's say she has to park it on the side of the road the policy does have a uh, visitation for a family member that's in the hospital it's like up to fifteen hundred dollars they'll pay for a flight okay so there's there's a lot of benefits to it but as far as her not being able to drive it uh, i don't see any coverage no. there okay all right. Yeah, good call. Very huh? good. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate the call. Have fun on your trip. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming. Ray, more of your phone calls. We're going to check in with the catch report, find out what's biting you. Stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090. This is Rock Codrick for Adventure and Camping, where they bring the adventure to you. If you enjoy camping in the eastern Sierra but don't own an RV or a trailer or simply don't want the hassle, let Adventure and Camping park it for you. It's simple. Check out their website, adventureincamping.com. Select from over 75 campgrounds they serve. Decide on a trailer floor plan that fits your needs. Request a quote for your desired vacation dates. Then just show up and start your adventure. Dallas and I did exactly that, and it was incredible. We chose a beautiful mammoth area campground. Adventure and Camping delivered the trailer to our spot. We showed up, enjoyed a clean, spacious trailer without any of the hassle. When it was time to go home, we just closed the door and drove away. It doesn't get any easier. If you enjoy camping in the Eastern Sierra but don't want the hassle, Adventure in Camping is for you. Check out adventureincamping.com for details. Make sure to mention Rock Cod Rick sent you for a special 20% off offer, but this special won't last long, so go to adventureincamping.com today. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano, and I gotta tell you, uh, that's Shimano Tranks. There's yeah. nothing like the Shimano Tranks. The 200, the 300, the 400. If you're going bass fishing, you know, the water's warming up. Yep. There's a lot of anchovy. Did you see the Everingham Brothers have anchovy now? No, I didn't oh, know that. Oh, yeah. Good. You start throwing a scoop of anchovy out there, and you throw that Tranks 300. Oh, hang on. That makes the bass fishing come to life here in San Diego. And the right bass fishing reel, it is. It's the Tranks. And, and just like you said, whether you're choosing... 200 for a small reel that fits in your hand. Great something that you might fish freshwater, spotty, and calico with. The 300, which is probably the best all-around size, holds plenty of 50 or 65-pound power pro, and you can throw swim baits or fly line of bait yeah. with. Or the 400, big reel, fishing weedless, pulling a big fish out, lots of power, and still having enough reel to handle a kelp paddy yellowtail or tuna. Tranks has got you covered across the board. That 400 is also great for throwing that uh, Colt Sniper, yes, too. you're not kidding. Oh, boy. And Colt Sniper stick baits and jerk baits, too. I, I, I love oh, yeah. that reel. Perfect. Uh, sure. The Tranks Reel at your local Shimano dealer. Get one. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge ling cod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800 727 136 or check kingfishercharters.com. For over 30 years, Sea Falcon has been manufacturing the finest handmade jigs and plugs, utilizing superior components and hand painted finishes. Sea Falcon lures are made in Japan and are based on hand carved originals, utilizing the highest level of quality and attention to detail. Gamakatsu's premium assist hooks are ideal to pair with Sea Falcon lures, providing you with one of the highest quality lure combinations on the market. When you're shopping for premium jigs and plugs to chase the fish of a lifetime, look no further than Sea Falcon. 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. And today our catch report is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returns to the San Diego landing, as well as your private boat catch, but now with Fish Pros the market, you can purchase fresh fish, you can get their killer smoked and jerkied fish, their spices, rubs, smoked cheese, the famous tuna burger, and that amazing pokey kit. Call for details or order online at Fisherman's Processing. Processing.com. We're going to start our catch port off up at Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How are you this morning? We're doing great, great buddy. Good morning. Good, good. Good morning, guys. So uh, this week we did see a little bit of improvement in a few areas, which uh, we're pretty stoked on. Water temps was the, the started off 61 to 62 is kind of what we were fishing all week. Certainly stoked to see some of that, you know, finally out of the 50s. Kind of a good deal there for sure. As a result of that, the half-day fishing did improve a little bit. We're seeing a little bit of uh, calico bass action on the surface here, finally, chasing the live baits around, uh, you know, catching a few on the fly line like that. But the guys fishing the sinker rigs are still doing better than the guys on the surface, I'll tell you. Uh, sculpting some uh, little rockfish, sheephead whitefish, stuff like that on the half-day trips. Three-quarter day, we've been doing that deeper water, still focusing on the rockfish. It's still kind of the same day-to-day deal with the condition sets uh, down there. We're seeing mixed results, uh, you know, kind of as as uh, payback from kind of that kind of stuff. Some days the drift seems to uh, fish better than being on the anchor and uh, vice versa, so it's just kind of a day-to-day deal. But still some nice mixed bags of red sculpin and whitefish. That's pretty much been the standard take-home for our anglers right now. It did slow up a little bit the last uh, week or so. A lot of uh, those reds are coming up uh, stuffed with those little pyrosomes. Rick, you know what I'm talking about, those little orange globby-looking things. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Totally. They, yeah, the rockfish spit them up like crazy. They love them, huh? They love them. Well, you know, that's just the nature of the rockfish. They're opportunistic. Something floats by them. They're going to take it. So, what did you, know, you call I them, Brian? Of, they're called pyrosomes. 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 Okay, pyrosome. Yep. And are they they're like they're a salp, right? Are they in the salp family? They're, they're yeah, similar. Yep. Same yeah. same type of deal. Yep. Yeah, so single cell, kind of like yeah. a step down from a, a jellyfish. It's a blob. A right. blob. <laughs> yep, little orange blob. Totally. So those rockfish are spitting up tons of those and I think that's part of the reason why things have been tight. We're still catching some real nice quality stuff, but just not in the numbers that we have been and certainly I'm sure that's part of it. Just Things are changing, right? The water's changing, stuff's moving around. It's it's all kind of that. Over at the island, the Fury battled some weather, too, for, for his fish counts this week. He had to work at it for sure. But the same deal, mixed rockfish, sheephead, and lots of whitefish over there. He's hoping to get out there as much as he can around the weather this week, so we got our fingers crossed that some of the stuff in the forecast that opens up. He gets a little window to, to get over there and get back in on some of that really good rock fishing. And then uh, the halibut guys are out today. Fish off day on the real fun with Captain Pika. Hopefully, oh, uh, the day. Can, Today's the day they can drift one up, and someone goes home five hundred bucks in their pocket for catching the big fish Ooh, there today. So that's we'll, cool. We'll nice. See how that goes. So that's our week, kind of a pedestrian week, right? Not a whole lot of super excitement, but uh, you know, catching fish as best we can with the current condition sets. And you know, it's springtime; things are moving, conditions are changing, and you know, honestly, that at the end of the day is always a good thing as we push towards the warmer water and you know, warmer weather. So, if you guys, want to hop on a trip with us? Give the landing a call. Our number here nine four nine. Four nine six five seven nine four. Of course, you can check us out on the web, danawarp.com. I just make those reservations and get you out there this week. Awesome, man. So, well, it certainly sounds like good fishing. Well, I think we got a nice little stretch in front of us. Going to be a good one, Willie. Appreciate a great report, as always, and we'll look forward to talking to you next Sunday. Thanks, guys. Talk to you then. See ya. All right, buddy. Appreciate that. Well, while we're waiting for our surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, to roll through, had a great text come through. Uh, good morning, guys. Kaylee from Chula Vista. Uh, what insurance do I need to cover medevac for my daughter, who is 20 months old? So a uh, very young new daughter and wanting to make sure she's covered. How, do we, uh, how, do, how does one go about that? Well, we probably are going to get that for free. Okay. And I'll tell you why. So let's say that the parent decides to buy a travel insurance plan. Children 17 years and younger are covered for free with the same coverage at no cost. Wow, no doubter then. So there you go. It's free. On the annual policy. That's a good answer. (laughs) No, I'm talking about on a per-trip policy. On a per-trip policy. Yeah, on a per-trip policy. So let's say a husband and wife go, they have two kids, they're both 17 or younger, they go for free with exactly the same coverage as you have. So if you're going on a trip that averages out at $3,000 per person, 
Even those children now have $3,000 in trip cancellation each. Wow. That's great. They have the medical, the medevac, and everything else that comes with it. So, but the two adults would need to have each have a policy. Yeah, my recommendation, uh, what they do is they'll, they'll allow one child, 17 and under, for free uh, for every paying adult that has a travel insurance policy. So if you had the husband and wife both had them and they had two kids, then you got two kids covered. If we had to insure the third child that's under 17, it's not going to be that expensive. Okay. They're just too young. They're not, uh, they're not my age. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and what about but that coverage does not extend in the, in the annual policy? No, because no. an annual policy is a per person per policy. Person policy. Yeah, you're right. covering the person, not the, the person. Trip. Right. Okay. Got Very it. Good. The person good. and the trip. Good question. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, good and we haven't stumped him yet. I know. Have you it, that? He's Have not you stumpable. That? There's yeah. no doubt about yeah. it. <laughs> well, why don't we jump back into the phones? And uh, actually, it looks like maybe we got. Uh, do we have our surf guru no, coming yet. up there? All right. Well, then we're going to jump into the phones and talk to Norman. Norman's calling us from San Diego this morning. What's up, Norman? Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, buddy. Uh, my question for my, my bud, uh, I just like you know, a whole bunch of other anglers put deposits down on trips last year, and the trips got canceled, and they, we rolled the deposits over to this year, and we're paying our balances, and we plan to go on the trips. But in my situation, I have a parent who's on hospice, and my question is whether or not uh, that, that uh, suppose she might pass, and so what in effect coverage is consi- uh, and coverage for that is considered a pre-existing condition if I buy the insurance today or is that uh, is, you know it's old age or hospice uh, pre-existing condition is my question it's definitely pre-existing mm-hmm. it's definitely pre-existing so here's the deal so you you put a deposit down last year the trip got canceled because of covid and then you're rebooking a trip for this year so the date that that deposit is put down maybe the boat's holding it but let's say they put it down on uh, y- yesterday. Well, it, automatically you're going to be covered for pre-existing conditions from the initial deposit date for 14 days with some companies, 15 with another, 21 with another. So but even though it's a rollover, the new date would be the initial po- the initial. It's a, deposit. Yeah, it's a new trip. Yeah. It's a new it's trip. A new trip. Okay. The, the other one was canceled. So we just have to make sure that uh, you know the person in the booking office says, okay, trip deposit date is such and such because we've been holding money. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All yeah. right. Good good, yeah. qu- good question. And, and again, we didn't stump him yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's, totally. a, he's 100% hey, so you. far. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. Well, hey, we got the man, the surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, is on the line. What's up, Gundy? Hey, how's it going, guys? We're doing great, buddy. We're talking travel insurance and wanting to hear what's going on on the beach. Yeah, let's jump into fishing. The, uh, you know... Uh, <clears throat> The water temperature is just gradually coming up, and the bite is just gradually coming up with it. But but real good signs. Excellent week of halibut fishing. Lots of limits of perch. You know, uh, some of those bigger ones have been absent, but uh, I think it's just a matter of time here. The biggest factor, like I said, is the warming water temperature. The barred perch action, good. Lots of limits of smaller fish. Uh, just seeing a few spawners. Uh, not many of the big fish, but... You know, I think that'll come with warmer water. The halibut was the star this week, uh, and I think the second grunion run just took place, so that influence is really starting to show in the shallow water. Hookline Sinker reported good halibut fishing on several spots, lots of 18- to 24-inch fish uh, with kickers to 30 inches, flash minnows, X-rafts, top baits up there, galita, graveyards, butterfly, carpet and bria, good stretches. Wiley's held an uptown derby, and for the third straight derby, they didn't weigh a fish. Now, granted, those guys need a, a one pound or better to weigh, but still, they're real puzzled at where those bigger fish are. Some theorize maybe up up the coast, Guadalupe, uh, you know, Morro Bay. Been seeing a lot of those bigger fish. They did have some chunky elephant croaker in the mix and two small corbina. Um, and like you said, probably some of those fish may be shifting up north. Big fish reported good halibut action along Shoreline Drive, Cherry Beach, Grunion runs ran strong in here. Drawing a lot of fish shallow, uh, small drop shot flukes, you know, grunting anchovy patterns working good. Fish up to 29 inches there. Catch them tackle reported improved halibut fishing. River jetties has been a good stretch. Flash minnows the top bait. Hogan's and Dana Point reported good halibut action in Capo Bay there. Shop regular uh, fish from Doheny South and had three legal fish yesterday on flash minnows. That's pretty darn good fishing. Uh, 
the cherry berry color, I think, is what he was using there. A uh, 33-inch fish was also taken near the pier on a jig para. And then that stretch from Cottons to San Jose has also been good. Pacific Coast reported good halibut fishing on the beaches, <clears throat> in the lagoons. Good percentage of legals mixed in now with the shorts. Flash minnows, swim baits, flukes, cut anchovy, just about everything working. And the, the word is, is that Carlsbad Lagoon is wrapping up that dredging operation. So I imagine... Once they get that wrapped up and you got that deeper water, those big tide swings, there's going to be a 35, 40 pound fish taken there, as there always is each spring. So, looking forward, Pete. Everything's looking good. A little more water temp, and it's just going to get better. All, All right. right. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. And, Gundy, we sure appreciate that, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. Appreciate that phone call. Hey, want to remind you that Surf Fish Report, don't forget, check surffishtackle.com for all of your surf fishing needs. They have continued reports, tackle, and a whole lot more. Yeah. So surffishtackle.com. I got a great text here from Bob in Huntington Beach. <laughs> uh, and uh, you saw that yeah, one, too? That's my favorite one. Yeah, I yeah, had, yeah. I, had, but it popped uh, up also. W- w- uh, I, got a, I got a trip down to, because this relates to all of us. Well, I know I you're going down there in ne- going, this, going you're in a couple going of days. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Cabo San Lucas, going on a trip to Scott. Robinson Lucas, when you're ready to leave back to the U.S. and you test positive for COVID and had to stay an extra day at the hotel and book a new flight, are you covered? That can be covered, yes, uh, because now what we'll need is some proof, of course. You're probably going to get a doctor's report saying, hey, wait, this guy has COVID. He's, he's not flying on the plane. I had a medevac, matter of fact, about a week ago out of Mexico and the same thing. We had to get a private plane to fly the person back they wouldn't let him on commercial uh, because he didn't have the test you know the test has got to be usually within 72 hours right, and right. we couldn't get it it was an emergency so you know it's like a thirty thousand dollar flight you know to get wow. him back we had to get his own plane for him <laughs> wow <laughs> wow wild. but he was covered yeah because but but the fear of covid is not covered if, Fear but, is not. But if you test positive, you are covered. And it, or you, you have are, it, yeah. And, oh. you're ha- and you have it, you are covered. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So if that, so if you incur some costs because of a change, and I don't think the airlines are causing, are doing that, but it could cost you. So let's say, so the, the, I could see this scenario. The hypothetical. Let's say that um, you're coming back, you paid $200 for your trip uh, back to, from Cabo to San Diego. Mm -hmm. or Cabo to L.A., and you get COVID, two days later you have to rebook that flight, and it costs you $400 for that same flight. Are you covered for that $200? Yeah, you you caught COVID. It's covered. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's a good call, man. Well, I appreciate it. Great call, great uh, info, and a really good text on that one. When we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, more your phone calls, and more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 and the Let's Talk Hookup app. If you're looking for a high-quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip, check out Cutwater Spirits lineup of canned cocktails. Cutwater's master distiller and co-founder, Yusuf Cherney, is a hardcore fisherman. In fact, he developed Cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind. Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirit uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila, the zesty vodka mule, or the spicy Bloody Mary, which has some serious bite. They also make super refreshing vodka sodas in grapefruit, lime, and cucumber flavors. Just crack the can and enjoy a bar-quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight. Back at the dock or at your evening Anchorage and Catalina, Cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip. You can check out all 18 of Cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store. Then go ahead and set your cocktail free. Please enjoy responsibly. Here's the hot tip on the best fishing L.A. has to offer. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. They are home to L.A.'s finest open party fleet, including overnight on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half-day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three-quarter day trips on the Sea Angler. For your own private charter, we have the Outrider and True Line available. There's always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or on the web at 22ndstreet.com. 
Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. Your San Diego County Ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs. Looking for a truck to handle both work and play? The legendary F-150 has you covered with its military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame and smart technology like the available Pro Trailer Backup Assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial. Or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure? The Ford Ranger is standing by, so grab your gear and let's go! This adventure ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Is an SUV more your speed? No problem. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have those too. The 2020 Ford Explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third row power fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin panel moonroof to let the outdoors in. Visit buyfordnow.com to learn more or visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-646. 2252 1 800 646 Baja and Rancho I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Shimano has done it again. An amazing lever drag two speed reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2, the extremely durable high performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth ultra wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish fighting machine. Its rigid Hagani body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. Plus, a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20, and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at a more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and dependability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. 